Why did you decide to coordinate this Erasmus project with this theme? Um, originally, the idea came from uh, an in-service that was given to teachers in the college. And um, the lecturer from the university who was giving the in-service, um, he just asked the question as to whether we were using digital technology in the best possible way in order to encourage students to learn. And I uh, just thought it was an interesting question, so I thought we should look at it in more detail. Uh, what can you tell us about your school and about the team who is participating to the project these days in Baku? Yeah. Um, our school, we're a further education college. Um, so our students, the youngest student is 18 years of age. The eldest students could be 60 or 70 years of age. So it's um, uh, literally lifelong learning. Um, mostly we do vocational subjects, um, but there's quite a wide range. Um, for example, in Ireland, vocational subjects would be anything that leads directly to employment. So we would have courses like animal care, hairdressing, uh, technology courses, computer courses, and so on. Um, so all of our students would have finished secondary school and would be continuing on to do a course that leads them to employment. Uh, what do you think about this Erasmus Project team? Um, the Erasmus Projects team, the, the, as I said, the idea is that because our students come from such a wide variety of backgrounds um, and because there's such a wide variety of vocational areas, um, we need to account for the fact that students learn in different ways. Um, so for us it's very important that we don't just concentrate on academic learning, but that we also have facilities in place for students who want to learn practical skills, um, who like to learn by watching videos, who like to hear things rather than read them and so on. So that's really what the, the project brings to us. Okay. Um, what is the most useful learning method you applied in your schools? Um, it's, it's difficult to say because again, I, I wouldn't pick one method simply because I think we've, we've become very conscious of the fact that different students learn in different ways. So we try to be as flexible as possible with methods in terms of, of how we deliver our courses. Um, so for example, if, if I was giving a student assignments, um, we would give a student an assignment in a written format, but that would also be given in a computer in a digital format. And then if students had difficulty with, with reading, for example, um, we have facilities in the college where we can get the computer to read it to them. So we try to cover, literally cover everything if we can. Okay. Uh, what changes can an Erasmus project bring to the education system? The, the, there were two big advantages of Erasmus projects. Um, I suppose for our college, um, the main one is that we send a lot of students to other European countries on work placement every year. Um, so we have about 13 partner schools in, uh, across Europe and uh, students go there on, on, on work placement. Um, and then as well as that, we have these type of projects where it gives teachers an opportunity to meet, um, to share best practice, and um, basically to see how things are done in other countries and what we can learn from other countries and what they can learn from us. Mm. Uh, do you also use psychology to better understand and educate students? Yeah, well, in, in teacher training in Ireland, psychology is always part of the, the, the training for teachers. Um, within the college itself, we have a, a psychologist and we have uh, guidance, um, uh, psychological counselling and so on. So if students need um, help and so on, we can, we can do that. We also have support services for students who are in difficulty. So if a student is having a problem with a subject or difficulty learning, um, there are people there who can support them and who can you know, give study support classes, uh, technological support and so on. What is your opinion about this Erasmus project? Is it beneficial to children and how they study? Yeah, we, we think it is because um, like what we're looking at in this particular project very specifically is how you, can, um, how you can gear your class to, individuals, to the individual students' needs. So we're, we're trying to say, well, we're not looking at a class of 20 students or 30 students and giving them all the same thing. What we're trying to say is we need to look at the students individually and see how each student learns and how we can help that then in the way we deliver the class. Thank you very much.